How you doing, family? Hope everybody's okay. Happy Mother's Day for all the mothers around. Today is Saturday, and tomorrow is the Mother's Day, so I wish all of you a very, very happy day. I'm gonna be doing a quick pour here. I'm gonna be doing a ring pour. Um, I'm gonna be using the four card plus lateral uh, milk paint, okay? And this is the Master Touch Talo Blue, Quinacridone Blake Violet, and Artist Love Aqua Green, okay? This is like we normally do, we're gonna be pouring white first, then we're gonna be adding some blue, Put it to the side. Then we're gonna be adding a little quinacridone, more white. Let's repeat the dose again. Blue. Quinacridone. And at the end, the aqua blue. Then, a little white at the end. All right. This is a very simple pour. Not difficult at all. I always begin in the center with big circles. And then I begin slowly to shorten the distance to make it very smaller. Trying to keep it as round as possible. You see that I didn't put any paint in the canvas. That's because I'm gonna be adding, uh, this is not white, this is uh, it's a light gray house paint with the same four car milk uh, paint. And that's gonna be for the outer, you know. This is more jar because that's what I got left from one that I did yesterday that you're gonna be seeing hopefully by next Friday. It's gonna be like a surprise. And this is for you to have fun in between work. And the reason I'm using this is because this is creating a very nice effect in the outside of the pour, which I like a lot, all right? We're gonna be doing torch. To eliminate bubbles. Let's begin. Let me stop for a moment because I saw something here. It's not belongs there.
as I always recommend when you're trying the cloud effect, you know, every time you are stretching, you know, try to do the maximum stretching. Do not allow too much pain to be left on the canvas because, you know, then you, you run the chance of, of getting some cracks, you know. Okay. You see the the effect it creates on the outer band, that's the gray that I pour. I'm touching this corner here that didn't finish as well as this one. Let's try not to center it too much. This is beautiful, very nice. So that's what I was looking for, you know. I was looking for those. That's kind of the new thing, you know, getting those small cells that are coming from below, bringing the gray color that I put there. Very nice. So this is a quickie video, okay? For you guys to, to have fun. I will be showing it to you a little later so that you can see the reaction in those uh, outside areas, all right? Let me just finish here. Another corner that's not finished. That's gonna be this one. Nice. All right. I'm gonna shut the camera down now. Turn it on again, like in 30 minutes. Okay, here we are again. Continuation with the series of uh, ring pours. Now we're gonna use another colors, okay? Same canvas, 12 by 12. So the first thing we're gonna be doing, the same as we did before, is to pour a little white on the bottom, this time we're going to be using tallow blue, I mean tallow green. Oh, a little jam here. Let's see what happens. Sorry for that. Let's go back again. Put a little there and then we pour to the side. Then we're going to be using... That was uh, Artist Love, Taro Green. Now we're gonna be using Master Touch Violet to the side of the cup. I'm gonna be pouring there. Then we're gonna be adding more white. I am almost finished in this jar. You see? That's enough. We're gonna put a little more green again. And then we're gonna put a little more violet. And then the contrast color that I get, that I like to use this time is the Artist Love Portrait Pink, okay? This is just a touch to make it different. Okay, let's go again and get the other jar I have from the paint and add a little more at the end. Okay, now, like we did before, we're gonna be adding the base, which is a great with full card also. Uh, this is a little more thin. It's got also the, the full card milk paint and uh, house paint. The house paint I'm using is uh, PPG or Gliden. 
in the satin there's no silicone in here and the make sure is like the other one one part paint one part uh, four card and two parts flutter all right all right let's just do this like we did before we'll start in the center big circles And then at the end, we start to making those circles smaller, smaller, as round as possible. Waiting for that white to appear, there you go. I'm trying to pick that last drop. All right, there you go. I touch it. You see that? But it's nice and interesting. Sometimes mistakes creates nice things. You see that there? This one is already popping cells. All right, let's see. Now, let's do the outer band. As we did before, this will produce those tiny cells that are so in, in, how you say that in English? A la moda, you know, they are, a lot of people are provoking them, which is cool because I like it. Let me show you how the other one is looking just before getting continuing. Very nice, you see the effect on the outside? That's because of that paint I use. Very nice, this is very beautiful. Let's see what happens with uh, these colors that we're using now. It's already, I can tell you it's looking good. So let's try to stretch it to that corner, come back to the other one. Come back to this one. Come back to this one. And then begin again now, making sure we cover all the corners there, you see? We're gonna be doing the same in this other corner here. Try not to lose too much of the design that goes in the center. Let's go to this corner now. Beautiful. And now let's go to the last corner here. Okay, I don't want to lose all that violet there. You can tell already how beautiful it is. And the effect is already starting there. All right. Let me just clean my hands to do the final touch on corners. I will be posting this hopefully today in the YouTube channel and in the Facebook pages so that you guys can take a look. Let me just get a little in this corner here. This side here didn't finish. That one is already there. Hmm. I'm not using the rotary table because this is fast, you know. The setup for the other table is, you know, a little different, so. trying to do this as fast as possible. I need to go and buy a gift for my wife, you know, Mother's Day tomorrow.
I'm so excited. This is looking beautiful, man. I'm gonna start doing this on big canvases. That's coming this week. I'm gonna be using some uh, 36 by 48 that I think I have. Yeah, there are a couple of those. So let me take it so that you take a better look. Very, very nice. Nice colors. All right. Let me shut down the camera and at the end I will probably do uh, showing on how it ended up. Okay, this is like an hour later. See the reaction of the outer band cells that I told you. These both pieces came out very, very nice. Thank you for uh, watching. Again, happy Mother's Day. See you. Bye.